Hello there, my name's Joe Gamble, and I want to bring to you something I am incredibly passionate about, and that is the investigation into your nutrigenomics. So let's start off by what are our genomics? So just like our genetics, they are inherited characteristics, inherited from our mum, inherited from our dad. But unlike genetics that are very fixed, i.e. if you can't roll your tongue, you can't learn to roll your tongue. If you've got blue eyes, you can't make them brown. Our genomics are, we're able to alter the expression of those genes based on the environment that you bathe them in. This is something we refer to as epigenetics or nutrigenomics, changing the nutrients around the genomics, i.e. maybe eating more of that food or eating less of that food. So let's take you as a human and let's look at what that might mean. You might already have symptoms and those symptoms you might have presented to your GP with. Pain, fatigue, inflammation, or already got a disease state like obesity or type 2 diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis. You might go and see a consultant and those consultants might be a bit more interested in the, um, the branches of the tree. So the GP may be the leaves, the consultant may be the branches. But if you hit a frustration going, nobody's really looking at this as me, as an individual, I feel like I'm being treated like everyone else sitting in that waiting room. And yet nobody sees me as the individual that I really am. Well, in which case, what you want to do is look at your nutrigenomics. You want to ascertain your uniqueness. Now, who is this beneficial for? It might be, like I said, somebody who has a diagnosis, whatever that diagnosis is. It might be for somebody who's trying to prevent the turning on of a gene that you see quite common across the family, like Alzheimer's disease or breast cancer or type 2 diabetes or a autoimmune disease. It might be that you've got a bunch of symptoms that nobody's really helped you to understand, like chronic fatigue syndrome or uh, hormonal imbalance or ME or IBS. And you're like, I'm more than this umbrella term diagnosis. It might be that you've seen lots of practitioners who have made recommendations to you, but none of them have either worked or you've been able to successfully take because you're reacting to the supplements or to the food recommendations. It might be that you've been reading about one of these many dietary interventions um, online or through social media, like ketogenic or paleo or veganism and gone, is that right for me? Now, if you've asked any of these questions, really what you're asking is, what are my genomic uh, instabilities and how can I best serve them? So in those instances, we want to look at you as a unique individual and alter the expression of that genome by supporting the epigenetics. For example, if you're predisposed to inflammation and you're eating a diet high in ultra processed foods or process or, or uh, lots of refined foods, then that might be creating upregulation of inflammation. You can get that same genome. So the genome uh, that predisposes you to inflammation and bathe it in an anti-inflammatory diet, rich in omega-3s, rich in polyphenols, rich in uh, a rainbow of color. And those that predisposition to inflammation can be dampened by that much more anti-inflammatory diet. So us understanding our unique genomics is an opportunity for you to really look at your life's path and your health path. You don't have to have a disease to look at this. In fact, using these as a means of prevention is such a powerful approach to functional medicine. I tested my youngest daughter at just 10 weeks old to look at her susceptibilities to know how to best 
bathe that genome before a problem occurred versus with my elder daughter when I looked at them after she developed multiple autoimmune diseases. Still really powerful in her wellness journey, but um, I, it, it was more closing the door after the horse had bolted versus shutting the door to prevent the horse from bolting. So our genomics is a way for you and me to go down deep to the roots of the tree and then to build up and out from those roots, hopefully a healthy you. So in my opinion, genomics is a way for us to support so many of you. In fact, I would arguably say everybody will get something from looking at their genomics, whether it's what best to eat, how best to practice lifestyle medicine, what or what not supplements to focus on. So if you're interested, come with me on a journey to look into some of the other panels and reach out to us and look at which panels might be most informative to you or your loved ones to really support that wellness journey. Take care for now and I look forward to speaking soon. Bye bye.